all work and no play makes Jed a dull boy. So after a three month hiatus from the range, we're gonna remedy that and have some fun with the Cascade Ghost Riders. The Cascade Ghost Riders are a cowboy action shooting club located in Ravensdale, Washington. This will be my first time shooting with the club, although I know most of the shooters from my time traveling to different matches in this sport. As I said, their range is located in Ravensdale, Washington at the Cascade Shooting Facilities. This club shoots six cowboy action stages on the third Sunday of every month. Now that plan works out great for me because the Oregon State Championship match is on the fourth weekend of this month and I haven't pulled the trigger on anything other than a nail gun, paint gun, texture gun, or nerf gun in nearly three months. I'm definitely in need of slinging some lead downrange and ringing steel. So I'll let the Cascade Ghost Riders president, Lawbreaker, tell us and show us how the stages are to be shot. Then I'll introduce you to some cowboy action shooters and let you see how they navigate the stages. Some of these folks you've seen on the show before. For others, this will be their first time appearing on Jedi TV. So be sure to say howdy to them down in the comment section. Starting over yonder, right side of the horse, rifle in hand. At the beat, or say you're ready at the beat. Double tap, single, single, double tap, single, single, double tap. That fast, by the way. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Run over yonder, put your rifle down, don't matter where. Double tap, single, single. Double tap. Double tap, <laughs> single, single, double tap. Grab up your shotgun. Ideally, if you move over a little bit, I'll, I'll be happy. Knock them down any order. I'll take any new shooter to the area. Oh, it just so happens. <laughs> tell you load two load two all cocked and locked ready to go we've all done it. when you're ready get a standby and a beep knock down those cylinders make sure they're down before you skedaddle get up to the wagon with your arms reach to the wagon knock down the poppers put your shotgun down with the pistol triple tap an outside circle double tap the center then triple tap the other outside circle Double tap the center. Grab up your rifle anywhere within an arm's reach of the wagon. Triple tap an outside tombstone. Double tap the one next to it. Triple tap the other outside tombstone. Double tap the one next to it. You're done. Everybody, ready, stand by. Down. Good job. Down. Down. Any order. 
Okay. With your shotgun, knock them down, try to be on this side of the wagon. Any order. With the pistol, guess what? Ten on three. With the rifle. Got four tombstones, ten on four. You gotta engage everything at least one time. Questions? Legal team? Engineering squad? Stand by! Twenty sixty nine. Yep. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. To the unloading table. All right, let me put it all together for you. Right, we're drifting in. You're gonna start out with the rifle in hand, something like this. So you're ready at the beat. Reverse Lawrence Welk sweep. Make that rifle safe on the horse. Pick up the shotgun. Knock them down any order. Make that shotgun safe with your pistols somewhere up to the fence. You're gonna do a what? Re reverse. Lawrence, well, sweet. Four, three, two, one. And you're done. That's good. Stand by. Shooter at 3083, that's Wiley Bob. Rifle. Double tap Nevada sweep. Doesn't matter which outside target you start on, outside target. Double tap Nevada sweep. That's about as close as you can get until the next stage. Then it gets crazy. All right, double tap Nevada sweep. Knock them down any order. Guess what you're doing? Double tap, double double tap Nevada. Nevada. And it don't have to be the same side start, but it has to be a double tap Nevada sweep. Start from the outside. Got it? All right, Bob, double tap sweep. Jesus, they have to think about it again. Double tap Nevada sweep. Yeah. Should be it. Should be it. You're good. 4301. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Not too far. Start at shotgun of choice. Hands at side at the beat. Knock them down any order. Put your shotgun down on the horse. Run to the near fence. Going this way. It's four on one, one on the other. Come to your table. Two sweeps. Go to the next fence. Again, anywhere. Three on one. One on the other. Right. So it's shotgun, shotgun pistol, pistol, rifle, pistol. Or pistol. And if you or double handers, if you want to lay right. down, you or can. If you want it single, pistol, you rifle. can do it that way too. Now, if you've shot with me, or if you've watched the show for any length of time, then you know I am not a fan of stages where the revolvers are split up with firearms between them. By my way of thinking, why on earth would you put your revolvers down in a gunfight if they still had ammo in them? Put your cattle on. But look, the stage riders go through the trouble of putting these stages together for us to shoot, and the rules say that it's okay to split up the revolver string. So, occasionally, you're gonna see it done that way at a match. It's just the way it is. Put your cattle on. So with that said, let's see how I do on my last stage for this month with the Cascade Ghost Riders.
263. That's it for this episode of Jedi TV. If you liked it, well, you know what to do. Smash that like button and then leave a comment down below letting the Cascade Ghost Riders know that they did an awesome job setting up this match. All right, we made it through all six stages. That was fun. One miss on stage one. I can live with that for a day of shooting. They made me feel welcome in my new home state, and I'll certainly be back to play with them again. Here we go. Oh, this is a good one. Shooting on the dark side. Frontier cartridge gunfighter, 180 seconds and change. Ninth overall, Jedi Knight. All right. That's a good go, Travis. And if you want to see more of my stages shot with this club, then follow me over on Instagram, where I post lots of content exclusive to that platform. Just search for Jedi Gunfighter and click on that follow button. Now, speaking of home states, I'll be back next week with the stages from the Oregon State Championship match. I will be competing down there, as I have for the past couple of decades. This year, though, there is no title on the line for me. So make sure you're subscribed to see who leaves that range as the Oregon State Champion Frontier Cartridge Gunfighter. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time.